the biggest treasure hunt in Sea of Thieves history has happened, where whoever sold it first would win a skeleton head cast in solid gold. They call it the Hoarder's Hunt, and holy sh** was it hard. The mystery itself is split up into four stages. In this video, we'll focus on how the community solved stage one. Each stage is split into two parts. The first part being completely outside of the game. Solving part one unlocks a voyage in game where you need to hunt for a silver key and put it in a chest. That's the goal of these mysteries. To unlock this chest and to find out who this mysterious H is who's been leaving us these riddles. At the start of stage 1 we were given this letter. Below the letter is a box where you need to type in the code. The objective then is to find out what the code is to solve part 1. Why don't we start with the letter? The letter is split into three paragraphs. The first paragraph says, I trust you've seen my rules are shaped for hoarders at their heart. Just don't use common pirates in your stead and we can start. Which basically means it's time to use your noggin. The first clue we get is in the second paragraph. First think of health and what need to keep you fighting fit. And foods that help survive both shot from gun and cutlass hit. But there's a dark side to what we eat when time and life collude. All that becomes and rotten too with scent of death imbued. From the moment the community read this, we knew they had to be talking about a banana, as bananas tend to go dark when they get old. It's noteworthy to mention that before the mystery started, Rare tweeted this picture of a fruit crate, and many believed it had something to do with the mystery, which could also explain why people's minds were set on selecting a food that goes dark over time out of this selection shown on the side of the crate. Luckily, someone noticed that Sea Thief's Instagram had shared this picture of a banana with the gold hoarder carved into it and over on twitter sea of thieves had replied to one of their posts with this video of that banana being carved well there it is a banana and it does go dark this must be the right place then since the mystery is called a hoarder's hunt there's the gold hoarder easy but what in this video will help us towards finding the code well throughout this banana carving video there are 13 strange symbols that appear In order to solve these symbols, we have to continue reading the last paragraph of the letter. You must check in all the time. What if it's now no good? Be it pig in pen or fruit that's stored in tuneless drums of wood. And with this line, you should automatically come to a conclusion that we need to feed some pigs in a pig pen with some food from a barrel. Or you realize that pig and pen is a common cipher used in pirate times. The pig pen cipher, which looks like this. This is how a pig pen cipher works. Say you've written a shape like this, well that shape fits here, which means that it's an I. But if you add a dot in the center of that shape, well all of a sudden it's an R. Or say if you write a less than sign, it's a U. Add a dot to it, and it's a Y. And now we can decipher the symbols in a banana carving video. Using the pig pen cipher, we can see that it says B, I, U, I, T, L, Y, S, O, T, T, F, R. Mixing those letters around, we're giving a bit.ly link. Bit.ly slash Sotfruit. And deeper we go. This URL directs us to a OneDrive with five images named banana, coconut, pomegranate, mango, and pineapple. All right, this looks familiar, that fruit crate picture that Rare tweeted, but how does this relate? Looking at the images in OneDrive, we notice the familiar pig pen cipher with the Spotify image splitting the cipher. Let us first solve the pig pen, and clearly some of these images are not in the right orientation. Let's fix that. The banana is upside down, the mango needs to be rotated 90 degrees, and the pineapple is also upside down. Down. And deciphering with pig pen, we get D K H P N B A S L I T D L L X I. That does not help us. If this was supposed to give us a sentence, where do we use an X in a word? But let's put this to the side for a moment and look at this Spotify thing. Turns out that Spotify has their own QR code of sorts. Open Spotify on your phone and point the camera at the image, and it takes you to the Sea Thief Spotify page. An O. 
God, do we now have to look at random songs for a hint? Yes, yes we do. However, it is not audio, it's visual. You see, when you play a song on Spotify on your phone, you get a short looping video with that song, if the artist decides to put one in. And Sea of Thieves has videos for almost all of their songs. The community started hunting, and they caught themselves a fine moose. <laughs> Six songs accompanied by six videos that had glitches in it. Well, that's gotta mean something. Maybe there's something special about that song attached to a glitch that'll help us solve the clue. No. Instead, if you freeze frame a glitch, you can spot a letter. Catch the letter in all the songs. You got T, Y, U, O, N, and B. Shuffle those around and you get the word bounty. Now we have the word bounty and this random string of letters from the pig pen cipher. What do we do? Taking one final trip back to the letter, the very last thing written is pictures paint a thousand words or so some artists say. We got the words we decipher from the pictures or so some artists say has to mean Spotify, musical artists, right? You must seek to link the two. Now hurry on your way. We gotta link the word bounty and this random string of letters. But how? This is where the community was stuck for a good day or two. Luckily, a common thing Rail will do throughout this mystery is to post vague hints to help the community along and it tweeted this seemingly innocent picture notice the name of the ship ripe green shive or as some maniac on the internet found out is an anagram for Viganeer cipher how in the world did you figure that out what is a Viganeer cipher it's a form of code where if you're given a random string of letters you use a keyword to unlock what the random string of letters means and we have a random string of letters we have a keyword time to link the two using a Viganeer cipher decoder online we can just put those in cipher text goes here and the key goes here Decrypt. Seven could set us off. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. The community tried it best, and another day went by. When all of a sudden, someone found it out. Someone solved it, and it is honestly ridiculous how close, but at the same time, so far away we were from solving this thing. Going back to the pig pen pictures, turns out rotating them weren't enough. Remember that fruit crate Rare tweeted out before the mystery started? Looking at that image, you can see that some images also have to be mirrored. Look at the coconut. If you look at the top left little U here, you can see that it's not the right way around on the pig pen picture, which means we gotta mirror the coconut. So does the pineapple. Look at the top of it leaning to the right a bit. The pig pen pineapple is leaning to the left, so that means it has to be mirrored as well. That means the pineapple and the coconut letters has to be updated. And the new letters we got then looks like this. Pop this new string of letters into the Viganeer cipher using the key bounty, and we get seven out of Aha! You should say it right now. This random string of letters does not make sense either. Turns out the guy who solved this first actually brute forced it. Meaning he didn't know what he was doing either. He just tried a bunch of different random combinations. However, what we've done so far is correct, but we're missing one final step. One ridiculous thing that makes you wonder how. How are we supposed to find this out? You're also supposed to rearrange the pig pen pictures. In what order, you ask? In a weird way of alphabetical order, of course. But there is another step we gotta do before we do the final step. We gotta do one final thing to the string of letters. Remember the images we rotated at the beginning? The banana was upside down, the mango needed to be rotated 90 degrees, and the pineapple was also upside down. For some reason that I don't understand, we now have to mirror the letters we got from those images meaning DKH becomes HKD, the mango's ITD becomes DTI, and the pineapple's GYJJ becomes JJYG. Now our string looks like this, and now we could do the aforementioned alphabetical rearrangement, and you gotta do that by using the first letter of each group. A S L is first, B N R second, D T I H K D, and finally J J Y G. Put that string of letters into the Viganeer decoder using the key bounty, and we get Zer out CFO Earth Evet. 
zero UTC four five T zero four five. That is the code. The code is outcast in leech speak. Plop that text into the text box beneath the letter and you have sold part one of stage one. How the f were we supposed to know to organize it that way? Regardless, congratulations, but we're only halfway done. Time to jump into the game and do the riddles there. Luckily, the in-game portion are not as brutal as the outside of the game portion, but it still is the best set of riddles this game has ever seen. After you bought the voyage from Lorena and you popped it onto your captain's table, the first island is always different depending on where you spawn. In my case, it's Isle of Last Words. Go over there, dig up that book, and now the puzzling can begin. Right, what do you got? You know the golden rule. Whoever has the gold makes the rules. Ha ha. If found, please return. If you can work out who I am. Ha 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 ha. H. Oh, we'll find you. Many pirates know these isles. Yep, yep. You cannot seek large landmarks. Yada yada. Where to first? Ah, here we go. To find this out, you must consult the chart. Nicely curved this island is. Well, that just sounds like Crescent Isle. A cave dead at its heart. All right, it's Crescent Isle because there is a cave at the center right, right here. What do we do when we get there? Seek outside some ivy forked atop an entrance to this cave. Above that, on a grassy stone, a fern marks this clue's grave. Now dig a hole and unearth a hidden clue. This will help you find a destination new. Right on, Crescent Isle we go. See? I told you there was a cave here, meaning where we need to dig is up there. Well, first one's always easy. First try, and on to chapter two. Along the beach below, I look for lights of green and blue. Yep, there they are, the green and blue lights. Here, I go aboard a type of deck that will not pitch nor skew. Well, that's pretty clear. Gotta be this dock, right? At the end of this are rungs out to the sea that point the way. What the f a rungs. Oh, it's like a step of a ladder. I guess that is our rungs then. By day I spy a wood of three plus one far, far away. Oh, see, that is clever. See, wood of three plus one. Rapier K is our next destination. And here we are on Rapier K. I sail and find some wooden drums that never play the beat. Yep, already here. I want the group with rocks, not metal at its feet. Oh, um, oh, yeah, it's probably those over there. <clears throat> yep, there are the rocks. On the stony step, turn your back on those drums to unlock the secret of a mass that spied, which never leaves the dock. Uh, let me just turn my back to these barrels. Show me my next destination. There, the Sovereign's Mast that never leaves the dock. Sanctuary Outpost is our next destination. I am enjoying this so far. I sailed and sought the so-called ruler there and joined them under the canvas fair. There's the so-called ruler under the canvas. Facing the stairs. All right, let me do that. I spied between two torches there are the two torches and small poles across the sea surrounded by three larger sea rocks on the horizon trees. Tree rocks. Lonely Isle is next. If all the riddles in Sea of Thieves were this awesome, I think the game's wiki page wouldn't be able to handle the traffic. Sail to this small beach. This one is easiest by far, for under leaves you'll find a fallen star. Fallen star, fallen star, fallen star. Oh, this lantern. This is the place, so dig right where you are. Might as well try it. Hoppa. And final chapter. 
home stretch now at the opposite tip i see a line of sea rock lies from largest to smallest go left and spy a small tower rise there's the line of sea rocks I'm going from larger to smaller and there's the small tower rise hidden spring keep This rocky place you sail to provides the next backdrop. Go within the big tower and find a ship's wooden point and follow to the top. I get the point of all the riddles, speak, but honestly, you could have just written go to the top of the fort. <laughs> Here we are. Where it passes through the wooden wall and a dead star sits. Another star, eh? But this one's dead. Found you. Locate a cross piece that points down and faces your next date with fate. There's the cross piece and... Oh, it's pointing down. No. It's pointing towards... Lone Cove. Here we are. Now what? Sail to land along a beach. Find a path hewn heaven from sand and stone. Marked by two torches. Head up to where a third one stands alone. There's the path of sand and stone, two torches, which means at the top here we should see a single torch. Yeah, don't you just love it when things work? From stone beside it, six paces lead towards the largest rock. Six paces towards the largest rock, got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. To its right, Two wooden structures in a row are locked. Well, how about that? Those line up perfectly. Stand between and taking north as noon. Stand between the two wooden structures. I can do that. Taking north as noon. Yeah. Yeah. There's another to right of six o'clock. All right. Turning right, you mean... Give me that. What the? Pass through this arch and dome of rock that points to sky. You'll see. Climb that point, look north, and identify the tallest tree. Oh, okay. Through the arch, and I guess we gotta climb that rock. See, the only reason I know this is because I've done this before. This is what you call acting. Look north and identify the tallest tree. Looking north. And that tree looks pretty damn tall. Under the bower's branches lies the last leg of this quest. At root of three, dig, unearth the glorious first chest. Right, we gotta dig at the base of the tall tree. Whoops. There we go. And if you're lucky, inside this chest there should be the first silver key. And there we go. We did it. Now, you just go to an outpost and give this to a gold hoarder, and you, sir, have put your first key in the chest. With stage one done, that means we can now do stage two. <laughs>